get the date, you know, get their hands on uh, that sort of gold. Okay, all right, Porrick Belton, we'll have to leave it there for now. Thanks very much indeed. Well, let's speak to Yannick No from Sturgeon Capital about the other business news story that's coming out of Upre uh, Ukraine, Gazprom cutting uh, the gas supply to Ukraine. I mean, how likely is it that supplies to the rest of Europe will be affected? Well, everybody has in mind the example of 2006 and 2009. In 2009, Europe, I mean, the European Union was much more reliant on Ukraine and in Russia in terms of supply because 80 percent of the gas coming from Russia was coming through Ukraine. Today, it's 54 percent because we have other pipeline, uh, especially the North Stream, uh, linking directly Russia to uh, uh, Germany via the Baltic Sea. And there is a bit more alternative for European uh, cons cons consumer. Having said that, it's, you know, it will put higher pressure on prices. And so, you know, what would that mean for the consumer then? Well, right now, I Right now, the, uh, it's not a good news for, for, for prices. We have seen today that the price in UK and in Dutch uh, future market has been going up, I think, 9% and over 10% today. So it's a negative news for the consumer. If uh, the, uh, the situation lasts longer, uh, and by longer I mean the, for this winter, it might mean that uh, other alternative supply like uh, liquid, uh, liquid, liquid uh, LNG gas uh, could be put in line, but this is more expensive. Sure. I mean, is there evidence of piling in Europe? Well, I think the, uh, right now the stockpile is a 64% of, uh, uh, of uh, the 64% uh, are full. Uh, I think it's it's not because the uh, the leader in Europe have been uh, have, have incredible foresight. It's just because the the winter was quite mild, and therefore you have this kind of stockpile. 64%. I think is the highest since 2011. Ukraine says that it has enough supplies to last until December. If this situation continues past yes. then, where do you think it will be looking to for its supplies? Well, I mean, it, it, they might be able to last until December for two reasons. First of all, because some of the gas is used as eating gas, and obviously in winter they will need it for gas. And second, because in, unfortunately the industrial production is quite low right now in Ukraine because of all those trouble. Um, so what they will do now, they will have to find a solution for sure before September or before December, because after that it will be dramatic for them. Sure, I mean, everyone's talking about how long Ukraine can afford for this uh, situation to continue. But what about Russia, because Europe's such a massive market for it? Yes, and we have seen today, I think, I think today the stock price of, uh, of Gazprom is sharply down. So investors are pressing the fact that, it, in fact, it's not a good news for Russia. or good, or it's, it's a bad news for everyone. It's a bad news for European customers. It's a bad sure. news for Ukraine. And it's a bad news for Gazprom as well. Do you think the EU might act as some kind of guarantor for the debt and could that sort of placate Russia do you think? I think it's possible I mean one of the um, there's few uh, few points of disagreement one of one of the point of disagreement is the fact that Ukraine is supposed to repay 4.4 billion that is supposed to be due uh, on previous uh, months of like Europe the IMF can provide some help I think the uh, the situation there, I mean one of the agreement that that, be, that was supposed to be broke by uh, EU was the fact that uh, Ukraine could pay one billion up front. So we might have some agreement, we might find some compromise there in terms of how much money Ukraine will have to pay up front and at what price they will have supply of Russian gas in the future. I think that's the two key levers that uh, EU can help. Because actually both countries are filing lawsuits against the other at uh, arbitration tribunals in Sweden. Russia saying that it wants to get the money back from Ukraine, that Ukraine owes it. Ukraine saying that it's been paying too much for gas since 2010. I mean, what do you think the outcome of those tribunals are going to be? Well, who knows? I mean, you have to keep in mind that I think the uh, price of gas has been increasing by 80 percent uh, this year. Uh, so it's been an incredible increase. I mean, Ukraine used to uh, benefit from two discounts that disappeared at the beginning of this year. It made the payment almost impossible for the country. So it's very difficult to see what, what, you know, what will be the, the result of the, uh, the, out I mean, the tribunal in, uh, I think it's in Sweden. I think it's, you know, it's anyone's guess. What is for sure, it's Ukraine depend on Russia for energy. Okay, Yannick No, Sturgeon Capital, thanks very Thank much. You. Well, let's look at some African markets, and Kenya says it's all